This is the GAC Weekly. It is championship edition of the GAC Weekly. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm joined now by Christina McSweeney, the head coach of the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns, the tournament champion Arkansas Tech Golden Suns. First off, congratulations, Coach, the first ever GAC tournament championship for the Arkansas Tech program. Oh, there are no words. It's a long time coming. This is a hardworking group. Um, I just love coaching them. I love everything about them. They work hard. They do everything I ask. They're fun. They're rebellious, but <laughs> they're a fun group to be around. Now, you all won 6 nothing over Southern Nazarene in yesterday's winner's bracket game. Of course, the championship today won by Arkansas Tech. It was a 2-1 victory, so uh, didn't have to do the if-necessary game because you all swept through 4-0 and in the tournament this year. As a matter of fact, that brings your all-time uh, GAC tournament record now, even at 500. I mean, you guys didn't take a loss this year, and, and so looking very good from the number two seed, you go ahead and advance all the way. Talk about the 2-1 win. Oh, so stressful. I can tell you I didn't sleep. I couldn't hardly breathe for the last couple of days. I prayed about who I was going to pitch today, and at the end of the day, I went with the person that's got me here. Megan Goodnight has, has just taken the ball and done some things this year that have literally broken my heart. Um, you know, Kara Toller has fought through so many things this year, and for her to come in and do what she did after Megan was out there was just incredible. You know, not a kid didn't need that more than Kara Toller. So seeing her out there performing when she struggled so much this year, has it, it just, it was a moment, and she needed that. It was a fantastic championship game today. Of course, we expected it to be close and, uh, and low scoring, and that's exactly what we got. Southern Nazarene got on the board early. Uh, with a, one run in the second inning as Kai Sanchez got on base. Sydney Toy Lolo eventually got her from third in home, and then it wasn't until the fifth inning when Arkansas Tech got a run to tie it. Bailey Bunch with not only a home run, but the home run, not only for her season. We talked about this on the broadcast. This is her first home run of the season. Coach, you said it was more than that. It's the first home run of her life, <laughs> and I'm so excited for her. You know, we had three big additions this year from Crowder Community College, Bailey Bunch, Kristen Dempsey, and Paige Mendoza, and the addition of those three kids has transformed our team. They bring such an energy, a, a fearless energy. They've transformed us into a team that I never knew I could have. But Bailey, oh, Bailey, she's been hitting the ball the entire tournament just so hard. Uh, yeah, she walks in the dugout, and her and I have this thing. We always talk about every at bat because I work with the stoppers. And she looks at me, and I'm like, I'm shook. <laughs> but um, they wanted it real bad. They did. And, and Bailey just, wow. You know, our senior leadership, I go back to Alex Bollinger and Janie Knowles, um, two of the hardest working kids I've been around, two kids that literally I'd ask them to do anything, they'd do it for me. You know, Janie started her career, started at the GAC in Ratfield and ended it with that last out. That was exciting for me. Um, but the things that Janie has done and Alex, Janie especially, this is her third time out of regional. I mean, it's just so exciting, so exciting. But, yeah, her contribution, Alex's contribution, and the whole team. Well, I'm Coach, I just got through the scoring summary, got you tied. We need to win this contest. So let's go ahead and go to the seventh inning in the top of the seventh inning and you all are able to get one more run on the board, and actually Bailey Bunch had a part in that. Uh, Coronado gets on base. You have a couple of runners, then Bailey Bunch reaches by way of an error, and then Coronado is able to come on through for the score. So with the win, you all get the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. You were high enough in the regional rankings anyway. It was likely that you were going to be in the tournament, but uh, now no doubt about that. So uh, as we get a chance to visit with a couple of your players here in a moment, talk about what it means to win the automatic bid. I've wanted this so bad. Six years of coming here, and, you know, traditionally my teams don't play well. I mean, you know that. Um, they just don't. We get to the end, and we usually are 500, or we don't perform well. But I got here, and I just felt a different energy. And, and being able to go and do it the right way, you know, win it. Go out there and win four games in a row. It's the first time we've done that pretty much all year in the same location. So that was super exciting. But, um Getting it done the right way and accomplishing a big goal that we've wanted to have all year. There are no words. I'm speechless. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing to be a part of this moment. Well, congratulations, Coach Christina McSweeney. Congratulations on the win today. We get a chance now to visit with a couple of the players. So I'm going to invite uh, Janie Knowles. You mentioned her. Let's invite her over here first. And to take your place, you'll get a chance to, to visit right here. Janie Knowles, the... Uh, First baseman, but she, she said you're the right fielder. So you, you switch, you go out to right field. 
Uh, talk about your play as you were uh, on the all-tournament team as well. Talk about what it means to be a part of this championship. Uh, that's just huge. It's something I've wanted for four years, and I've been on the best teams Tech's ever had. Like These girls, they just never stop working. And to come out here and perform the way we did and to score the runs we scored and to be a part of that was huge for me. Um, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better year. It had to have been a fun tournament, too, because – uh, you you performed so well in the field, you got the bat going, but uh, there just seemed to be smiles all the way around, especially as you just continue to move through. You all outscored your opponents in total now, 27 to five over the four wins. Yeah, that we never stop smiling. This team is full of energy, full of life, and that we know that's what wins us games. Uh, when we're smiling, when we're playing our best game, you you, don't, you won't catch anybody, you know, not looking happy out there. So it's really like that's important for us. You played first base, you played right field. Which one do you enjoy more? Probably first base because the pitchers can hear me yell at them. <laughs> they can hear me get excited for them. Um, but either way, I love to contribute. So, well, Congratulations on the win and the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. We get one more player that we get to visit with now as uh, Megan Goodnight comes to get to stand right here next to me. Congratulations not only for the performance during the tournament but you were the tournament MVP as well congratulations thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you now you performed all the way through in this championship game you started out in the circle and then you went over to play first base uh, recording some solid outs there as well you just had a, a great performance in the circle throughout the entirety of this tournament talk about your play there um, really, this is my first year in the circle, and Coach and Coach Jess have really worked hard with me on, you know, making sure I'm spinning it, making sure I'm not just, like, throwing it hard. Um, but they have they have done outstanding with, with how they worked with me this year, and I give them so much credit and, you know, praying a lot, too. <laughs> That's important. Give credit That's to important. my God. So, That's, yeah. That's a very important thing to do. Uh, you were an all conference performer last season I mentioned that on the year an honorable mention in 59 games started as a first baseman yes, last season and then moved over and your first team all conference then as a pitcher mm -hmm. what's it like to make that transition honestly like I'm speechless it was awesome it's an awesome experience I did not expect it at all and I was just so thankful for it so it's awesome <laughs> now you were the tournament MVP you all have the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament uh, wrap up our time here and say what it means. You knew, I'm sure, as everyone did, that Tech is likely going to make the tournament, of course, with the regional rankings. But to get that automatic bid, it's secured now. It's awesome. Our team works so hard. We have so much energy. And if I'm not performing, then I know that the next person has my back. And this is just a great team, and I'm so honored to play with them. So. Congratulations, Megan. Good night. The tournament MVP for the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns, who will be moving on to the NCAA tournament, the Central Region, and we'll find out exactly where they're seated just a little bit later on. So we wrap things up from Bentonville, this championship edition of the GAC Weekly. And congratulations also to Southern Nazarene, a team that performed well and made it to the championship final for the first time. Both these teams making it to the championship final for the first time in program history. So congratulations to the Crimson Storm as well. We wrap things up here from Bentonville. Don't forget that baseball continues at Enid, so be watching that too. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear this and more about the GAC and other high school and college sports, please visit oklomasports.net and arkansasports.net and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. Go to youtube.com and search Midwest Sports Net and subscribe to our channel. I'm Joey McWilliams, and this is Megan Goodnight. I don't get to sign off with people very often, so this is Megan That's Goodnight. Right. You want to sign us off? Yeah, sure. Right. What? Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>